Hey everyone, it's week four of our virtual Enviro groups and this is week nine of school as well if you've forgotten. So we as a prefect team have come back with another challenge for you this week. It's a really exciting thing and it can maybe help you improve on some cooking skills. So Maya will talk you through that today. Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well at home. We're all thinking of you and can't wait for the holidays. Hopefully we get to spend a little bit of them out of lockdown. I just thought I'd share one small fact about reducing your carbon footprint and maybe going vegan. Um, so if you switch to vegetables one day a week, that can save up to equivalent of driving 1,900 kilometers, which is a pretty long distance. That's a lot of trips to school that you can save by just eating vegetables one extra day a week. New Zealand's nastiest greenhouse gas contributor is the agricultural industry contributing 49% of greenhouse gases in Aotearoa. So, how do we help? While switching to a plant-based diet is one of the most effective ways to vote with your dollar against unsustainable farming methods, here's pushing the agricultural industry to be good to nature and treat the cows fairly. Maya will be showing a cool vegan recipe right after this. So check it out. Hey everyone, so for this week's activity, I'm going to be showing you a vegan recipe that you can try at home. So I've chosen it out of the Two Raw Sisters cookbook, which is just filled with plant-based vegan recipes. Um, and I've chosen to make vegan Twix bars. I've never tried them before, but they look super yummy, so I'm hoping they work out well. Um, but yeah, I'll share the method and the ingredient list at the end of the video so you can try them at home. So the first thing that I've done is blended all of the base ingredients together. So we've got the coconut flour, oats, maple syrup, um, coconut oil and a bit of salt and you blend it together and then press it into a tin like that um, This is just like a Tupperware container because I didn't have a tin small enough Because um, it's quite a small recipe. But yeah, so then I'm going to chuck this in the freezer to set Okay, so the second thing that I've done is blended all of the caramel ingredients together um, As you can see it's like a super smooth um, peanut butter consistency and I've just spread it on top of the base um, And I'm going to chuck it in the freezer and then that whole thing has to set for about two to three hours um, and then yeah, we'll come back for the next step, which is like coating it in chocolate. So it's the next morning um, And as you can see I coated them in chocolate um, and I've cut one in half to show you and this is the final result um, They're super delicious um, and really easy because there's no baking involved You just have to set it in the freezer. So yeah, definitely recommend um, So if you want to give that recipe a try or even just try any other vegan recipe, um, that'd be so great. Hey guys, thanks for watching this week's um, Enviro Educate. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something new. And yeah, be sure to follow Zero Waste to keep updated and keep staying strong. I'm sure we'll be out of lockdown soon. Lots of love.